Hey T fam, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, hi, my name is Tamina and I make university lifestyle content and fashion content and I'm so sorry guys, this is my first video of the year just because I slacked, I slacked heavy during the Christmas break because I recorded like um, two Christmas videos but then they're just on my laptop, I never edited them, I looked at them later and I was like, oh no, I actually can't upload this, so yeah, here we are, this is this is the first video of the year. Happy New Year and I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and an amazing break. I love you guys. Y'all been, you know, amazing. It's almost back to school but we're not going to cry yet because we just have like a few days till. Yeah, and I'm panicking also because I haven't finished my assignment that's due at 7. But that's besides the point. That's not today's video, yeah? So I think we can all agree that 2019 was a heavy, it was a thick year for most of us. I used to see so many memes on the timeline about everyone just complaining and then at the end of the year everyone was just saying 2019 was one of this years for, but did you die though? So that's why I'm making this video because I'm like, no, we learned a lot in 2019. It was a year of healing, it was a year of learning and now 2020 is the year we're thriving. So let's just, I don't know, I feel like I should do this video so that I can just look back on it and actually see, oh, I actually learned this this and this in this year and maybe it can help some of you because let me tell you 2019 was my year of self-love like right now right now i can't even tell you how much i love myself like <laughs> like i'm in love i'm in love with myself and it's all thanks to 2019 and it's also all thanks to 2018 which really brought me to the bottom and then 2019 now had to put me back to like a good place so without further ado, let's just get to the video. I've written everything down and then we're just going to go one by one until we reach 20. So the first lesson that I actually learned in 2019, but I really, really want to bring in 2020 is the five second rule. So you guys, this is where, let me just give you like a brief, really short summary explanation. This is where you'd count one to five. Because apparently with the brain, if you want to do something and you don't do it in five seconds, then it's scientifically proven, don't quote me, but it's scientifically proven that you won't be able to do that thing if you don't do it within five seconds. So here's the thing, in 2020, you know, this is the year apparently all of the 90s kids, everyone my age, were leaning into marriage, you know. <laughs> That's scary. We're leaning into marriage, people are gonna have children. So if you wanna shoot your shot, count five, four, three, two, one, shoot your shot. If you want to do something and it's really scaring you, five, four, three, two, one, do it. If you don't do it in those five seconds, you're not going to do it. Just think about that five second rule. I've been really wanting to try it, so I'll try it. My thing is social anxiety. So whenever I'm trying to do something that makes me really socially anxious, I'm just going to be like five, four, three, two, one, do it. You know, if I want to ask for a collab and I'm too anxious to do it, I'm just gonna count five, four, three, two, one, I'm going to do it. You know, if the person says no that's when now we can bring in all our slogans you know silly life <laughs> you know we move regardless but did you die though man i can handle the pain trust me <laughs> So the second thing I feel like is super underrated is gratitude guys. I feel like this is something that we overlook a lot and this is something I'm definitely taking into 2020 because I used to read like all these motivational books and listen to all these podcasts and they would definitely like there was no podcast or book that would miss talking about gratitude and then I would also find it in our like the songs that we listen to daily like in coffee song when she's like gratitude is a must yeah and then also Shantia's song she's like oh first thing in the morning when I wake up thank God for life I'm just like is this a coincidence no gratitude is actually an underrated key to receiving blessings i feel like if you want blessings and you to be tight like this in 2020 then gratitude is a must yeah blessings fall on my right hand even here gratitude, gratitude is a must guys <laughs> So the next important lesson I learned in 2019 was self-love and you guys I thought I think you saw this through my a little positivity series but I realized that self-love can't just be like one blanket statement like you just can't be like I'm practicing self-love I realized that self-love has various aspects to it and not just one aspect you can't just love yourself just like I want to love myself it has various aspects so i thought let me just separate this video into all those aspects because i also slacked on the a little positivity series just because it was also like taking time to actually 
do it so that when I would come and film something, it would be like something that I've actually gone through, something that I've actually experienced, and this is how I felt, and this is how I want to let you know what I felt. So I thought, let me just bring it on here, and I'll separate self-love into, I think, four things. And the first thing is, so don't be too hard on yourself, and after that, that follows self-forgiveness, and then that follows with um, self-awareness, and then after that, it's self-acceptance. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is don't put yourself down. And here we're going to have a slight story time intermission. So my mom was telling me when I was young, um, I used to set for myself this really high target in school. So I would always set a target before an exam. And after this story, please don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> so I always used to set for myself a target during an exam. And then I would show my parents and then like everyone in the house would know this were my target for this exam, yeah? So there was this one exam, I finished it, I did it, and then I came home and I hadn't achieved like, I think three of my targets. And so I was feeling really bad and I came to my mom and I was like, so I haven't achieved um, these targets of mine. And I was like, you know what? Can you punish me? This is the part of the story I began to think I was crazy. So my mom was like, uh, uh, relax, okay? You just did not achieve three things. It's not, we don't, we don't have to punish you for that. Just work harder next time. <laughs> me with this, I was like, no, I'm not having this. I have to be punished. So my mom told me I went to my room and then she came to my room later that night and she found me like I was about to punish myself. I had taken something. I was about to beat myself. Was I okay though? Like, I'm actually worried for my younger self, like, <laughs> was I okay? So after that, I was like, okay, definitely it's not that crazy these days, but it still kind of brings it, because sometimes I'm really hard on myself. Like, if I miss uploading a video, the things I'm going to be telling myself, I'm just like, relax, relax, sis. Okay, it's just one Sunday. It's just one Sunday. So I feel like don't be too hard on yourself. And also, I'm not saying that you don't correct yourself or you just do something and it's just like, okay, yeah, leave it like that. We move all the time. But sometimes the things that really matter to you, speak to yourself with some kindness, respect, and compassion, please. Because some of the things you tell yourself, you wouldn't even go and tell someone to their face. So, of course, after that follows um, self-forgiveness because sometimes you, you do something to yourself or to other people that you know is bad and you just know that you, you are really out of pocket. Then just forgive yourself like you would forgive someone else. Don't beat yourself up for years and years over one thing. Just forgive yourself. And after that, follow self-awareness. Here is where I find it really dicey, dicey. Because I feel like we're all always preaching about keep away from toxic energy, toxic, stay away from toxic people, cut off toxic people. I'm leaving you toxic people in 2019, you know. But then, have you ever considered? Sometimes maybe you're the toxic person. <laughs> Don't attack me. Just just hear me out. Sometimes you're the toxic person, okay? Because we are all not perfect. So you definitely have toxic traits. Like, I'm fully aware of my toxic traits. I know them. And I know when you're trying me. And I know when I'm about to become toxic. That's when I'm really like, relax, Tamina. You know, just breathe in because... <laughs> you, girl, you ain't it, man. Ooh, Jesus, take you ain't the wheel. Me. You're about to be the toxic one here. So I feel like also be aware that there's some traits of yours that can be toxic for someone else. Just the way you think this someone else's traits are toxic for you. Because, I mean, you can't be perfect the whole thing. Even you, you are a bit toxic. <laughs> and so the last thing I can say I learned about self-love. I'm not saying I've learned self-love completely and I've mastered self-love. But I'm definitely better than I was in 2018 and at the start of 2019. So the last thing I would say is self-acceptance. And this is having the strength to accept the things that you cannot change or the things that can take a lot of time to change. So this is where like the, the society, it dictates a lot of things about beauty. It dictates a lot of things about how women should act and all this stuff. And I feel like just look within yourself. And no matter what society is dictating, just accept the things that you can't change about yourself and just love them. Just accept it. And it, even if you're going to change it and it's going to take time, accept yourself as you change it and still love yourself through the process of change. So the other major lesson that I learned last year was to, you know, just 
put down your phone this is a very simple thing it sounds like oh yeah of course yeah but sometimes you actually need to put down your phone you actually just need to be away from all the pressure of maybe social media especially let let's say if you're a content creator or something sometimes you actually just need to put your phone aside and relax like instead of that serious don't monitor your numbers day in day out beat yourself up what is this video doing who is that why am i relax sometimes just put your phone down like this is a major lesson for me like if i felt like oh i'm not worrying about this too much i would just you know what i would put my phone down and i would relax and i would just focus on other things because it's never that serious it's just never that serious <laughs> so from lesson 9 to 14 we're just going to power through because that was all about like physical stuff so i feel like in 2019 i really learned how to um physical self to physically self-care for myself so this is where i learned how to eat well i'm not yet there yet i don't eat well enough for my body because sometimes i eat one meal in a day but i definitely learned that when you eat well like even your mood is better you have more energy to do things i really learned how to take care of myself and that it's important so i learned how to eat well i learned how to drink my water and i'm definitely taking that into 2020 so it was all about eating well skincare hair even your makeup it's just all about just making yourself feel like the best version of yourself because you deserve it the other thing that i want to do in 2020 is kind of work out because i want to be kind of more fit you know i mean what would it hurt and don't quote me on this workout thing i may not follow through completely but i'll update you guys <laughs> So eating, skincare, working out, hair and makeup look, took lesson 9 to 13 and now we're in lesson 14 and my lesson 14 that I learned in um, 2019 was you know what do not be ashamed to secure your bag and emphasis on your bag stop trying to secure other people's bags <laughs> so please mind your business as you secure your bag also don't try and steal from other people don't try and do this other what this other person is doing just because you've seen them doing don't try and outdo this other person just because they're doing this secure your bag don't go for other people's bags get it <laughs> I definitely learned that because I was really trying to see oh how is this one securing their bag how is that one secure now I realize relax Tamina just secure your bag that's it so the next lesson that I learned is to be aware of the energy around you because sometimes there's some really bad energy that is really coming from even your close friends or even sometimes your family and over here i also have like a short story time not really but remember in 844 you guys when you would be minding your own business going for the ceremony where they release your marks and then they would release the marks and commend all the people who really scored highly the people who really improved the people who are just thriving in their academic lives and you would just be there clapping you know saying thrive sis thrive bro and then the teacher would now come and make their speech and then she would just begin by saying we would just like to congratulate everyone who has done well and then the others how long will you clap for others when will we clap for you such energy if you bring such energy to me in 2020 you can go and put it in the trash because <laughs> because what why why don't you want me to be happy for my brothers and sisters why are you bringing such negative vibes? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I can't, you can't do it! I can't! No. So that's lesson 15. Then there's lesson 16. Also, be the energy that you want around you. You see, you're going to be preaching here that you want good energy, but also be someone else's good energy. Don't let your friend come out. She's feeling good. She's feeling amazing. She's looking. And the first thing that you tell her is, mm, sis, is that really what you're wearing? Again, I said, if you bring that energy in 2020, take it to the trash. Why? Why don't you want your sis to be thriving? She actually likes the outfit. Why? Unless there's something like really like, this outfit is torn. I don't want to. Yeah, I like the outfit. That's why I have it on. Thank you. Thank you for your concern. But honey, if you're not happy for me, and if you can't oh, support me like I feel like you should, you can leave. <laughs> so the other lesson I learned is a very touchy one don't attack me you know you don't have to agree with all my lessons but this is something I personally learned this is something I I learned 
So this is the one my mom loves. It's called emotional intelligence. So she says you have to have emotional intelligence. And for me, this reflected when, for example, let's just say someone has done something to you. You've not told that person that you're angry or that you are offended or that you don't like what they did. But you know what you do? You take to Instagram and you post some words. <laughs> you post some strong tweets with some strong words. And then you say, wait, but it wasn't for you. But you know, if the shoe fits, lace it up and wear it. And I'm like, you know, the problem with this is, first of all, you've not told this person. This person is shocked. Just tell them. But... <laughs> and you can't even call me <laughs> and then also if someone has done something bad to you and you're doing that it's like you're feeding them you know it's like there's a rat and you're feeding it so it's going to get fat so when it bites you the next time it's ready you're letting this person know exactly how you feel and that gives them some power it gives them some chest to know that they're hurting you so, but i definitely learned emotional intelligence if you for example hurt me and I'm not talking to you. You're not gonna hear from my Instagram. You're going to see me posting memes. I'm going to be laughing. <laughs> I'm, going to be la I'm not going to feed the rats. No. Okay. So we're in lesson, I think, 17. Yeah. 17. So my lesson 17 goes together with my lesson 18. 17. The 17th lesson I learned is to plan. And you don't have to be like a crazy planner, but like sometimes if you have something like on the side, let's say maybe you, you run like a small business or you do YouTube or you're like in an orchestra or like just something else that takes your time apart from school or even school itself, then just sometimes plan some things that you're not as stressed. So like sometimes like last um last year I used to have sometimes like three planned videos already so that next weekend i already know what i'm filming and then by the next weekend i would already have three uploaded videos so that for the next three weekends i'm just uploading them consistently instead of stressing about what's a film and where i'll film and what's the idea i'm going to film and will i have a video up on sunday you know planning sometimes takes away a lot of stress <laughs> the other thing is saving up this is the hardest because I'm always buying the most unnecessary things. Like I remember there was this week we went to Minisa with my friends and it had been a week of a lot of cards, there was a lot of readings and all this stuff and I was stressed. And I'm in Minisa and I see there was an eye mask, you put it on your, like this thing is so cool guys though, you put it on your eyes and it said that it releases eye fatigue. I was convinced. I knew that I needed to get this, I knew this is what I had been searching for all my university life. But my friends made me not buy it, which made me save, which at least I'm thankful now. But yeah, you get you can if you save, you can actually get what you want easily. Like I was thinking, if you save a hundred bob each day of the year, like this year, at the end of the year you're going to have thirty six thousand six hundred. Wow, just chilling for you at the end of the year, just like hey. You can use me now that's amazing like i actually want to really try saving i tried to save a bit in 2019 but i'm definitely going to try saving more in 2020 and that brings me to wait are we actually done i think we're done that brings me to my last lesson that i learned last year but i really want to cultivate it this year and that is the lesson that Jesus, he loves you too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, excess love, oh. For real, I just want to get closer to Christ because he loves, he loves me too much. <laughs> and yeah, I think that is my last lesson. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. This is the first video of the year. It feels good because I was actually like scared to film not scared but like nervous to film i don't know why when you stay away from the camera it gets a bit weird i get a bit shy you know <laughs> so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share if you actually liked this video and i'll see you guys in my next one if you reach this point of the video please comment happy new year T fam <laughs> please just comment happy new year T fam and i'll definitely see you guys in the next one and yeah Bye, T-Fam!